So let's start with question number five. Can we see a simple animation in silver light? Now, as we have discussed in the previous sessions, basically uh, there are three types of animations given by silver light. One is the one is the double animation, where basically we change the value of uh, value of properties like height, width, etc. Second is a point animation, where we can specify the x and y values for curves and circles. Uh, third one is a color animation where we can specify a, specify a hexadecimal value and vary the color of object over a period of time. Now what we'll do is in this session we will do a small practical where basically we'll be using double animation and what we'll do is that we will vary, we'll take up a rectangle object and we'll vary the rectangles, uh, rectangles height property over a period of time. So doing so we can see or we can uh, create a illusion of animation uh, where the rectangle height and width increases uh, uh, in an animated manner. So let's first create the rectangle object and here's it. So I've created a rectangle object named it as animated rectangle with a height and width of 100 and I've just filled it with a chocolate color. Okay. Now we need to define in which event should the animation start. So let's say rectangle dot triggers and we'll say event trigger and we'll say that okay as soon as the rectangle is loaded the animation should start so rectangle dot loaded right now uh, as soon as the rectangle is loaded or as soon as the trigger of uh, or as soon as the rectangle uh, loaded event happens you would like to st start the storyboard so begin storyboard and in the storyboard we would like to create our animation so as I've said in my previous sessions that this is a double animation. So we'll specify a double animation. Um, now first we need to specify, we need to define, you know, that this animation is going to be applied on which object. So at this moment our object is animated rectangle. So we need to say, okay, storyboard, sorry, storyboard dot target name is animated rectangle and which property do we want to modify over a period of time because as we have said previously that animation is nothing but modifying a property value over a period of time so at this moment I would like to modify the height okay now from from what value to what value you want to go if you remember the from to and by so I'll say okay from 100 I want to move till sorry from 100 I want to go let me just indent it so from 100 I would like to go to let's say 200 and with a duration of 5 milliseconds so 0 colon 0 colon 5 and I would also like to auto reverse it so auto reverse true and that's it So that's all our animation. So that's that's our animation has been created. So we have defined a rectangle object. We have said that this animation should start when the rectangle is loaded. And in the storyboard, we have used a double animation. We have said that we want to modify the height from 100 to 200 with a 5 millisecond time duration. And it should auto reverse to true and keep looping. Right. Now, if you do a control F5 you will see that the height starts varying with a 5 millisecond duration and it again because we have given auto reverse as true it again com comes back to its original value and again starts from there so so you can see that uh, how the rectangle is animated so here's what we have now definitely I'm going to say you don't need to really type uh, such long codes what I've done now there is a, there, we have a tool called as Microsoft Blend which basically helps us to create animations but it is important to understand the fundamentals fundamentals like double animation from to by storyboard so that's why you know what I've done is you know in, uh, initially to start 
uh, I have just created the whole XAML file with my own hand and I would uh, really uh, say everyone to do the same because it's important to first understand the concepts behind uh, Silverlight animation. Later on you can use a tool and uh, increase your productivity, that's a different thing. Now one thing if you note over here is it first starts, it goes top, it comes back to its uh, old value but it doesn't uh, repeat again. In order to repeat again you can use the repeat behavior property so let me do that we'll just add some more salt to our animation so repeat behavior forever now let's see now what will happen is basically uh, the height will uh, the height will start animating and then again it will come back to its old value and again it will uh, start from there because we have given the repeat behavior as forever forever so it goes at the top, comes back again, and from there again it starts because we have given the, given the repeat behavior. So in this way, there are a lot of properties you know by which you can really uh, accelerate your animations. You can add a lot of salt and pepper to your animations and create uh, nice, uh, rich, uh, rich user interfaces. I hope that this tutorial tutorial was helpful. And in the coming up tutorial, we'll be using Microsoft Blend. We'll be doing a lot of animation, and we will be also concentrating on how to. Uh, create user forms and uh, using Silverlight. How, how to create user forms using Silverlight and then bind it to a data bind uh, bind it to a data uh, database uh, like SQL Server or uh, uh, Access.